mean, here's the thing, I gotta ask, could speaking out actually backfire on Oprah and cause even more interest in what Oprah herself labels a so-called tell-all book? Right now in New York, Sunny Hostin from In Session on our sister network, True TV. In Hollywood, it's Leslie Marshall, host of the fabulous syndicated radio program, The Leslie Marshall Show. I gotta tell you, whether or not Oprah likes it, Oprah, a biography, is top in the bestseller list in bookstores and online. Take a look at this, just this afternoon, Number one at Barnes & Noble. Number two at Borders today. It's number 15 at Amazon.com today. I'm thinking, Sonny, that Oprah is actually adding more fuel to the fire here by even mentioning the book. I don't know, uh, AJ. I, I really think that maybe she's extinguishing some book sales by talking about it because everyone loves Oprah. I have a girl crush on Oprah. Everyone loves her, and she really has sort of this <laughs> Teflon image, and I don't think that anything she does is really going to tarnish that or, or, or make people love her any less. So when she says... This is a so-called biography. I think a lot of people will then not buy yeah, it. Yeah, but then you got the people kind of hanging in the wings. And Leslie, you know, when Oprah mentions anything, good or bad, it does generate interest. I have a feeling, again, by virtue of the fact that she responded when normally she doesn't, she's probably going to drive some sales here. Well, I, I have to say, I think a lot of people, even though they love Oprah, whether they believe what's in the book or not, obviously uh, the numbers are showing they're buying the book. We love dirt, even if it might not be true. And speaking of, there's been no lawsuit and there's been no denial, so maybe some of the stuff is true. And certainly that's a, a huge barometer when it comes to Kitty Kelly books, I think. Yeah, and, <laughs> and of course you have this matter of this guy who claims that he's Oprah's biological father. I got to tell you, for one, I can't blame Oprah if she has no interest in taking a paternity test, talking about any paternity issues. I'm sure this is something she would have dealt with in her past if she really wanted to. Sonny, can you see any reason why she should go ahead and, and do a DNA test? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, Oprah lives about her truth, and she's advising people to live their truth. I think someone like Oprah already knows who her biological father. If she doesn't know, then her team, Oprah, can investigate and find out. She can speak to her mother about it. I think she probably already knows. So what would be the point of taking a DNA test? And she has said, I'm not going to take one. Yeah, and she does, as you say, put it all out there. So it is a little surprising that if this was something she had any interest in, that she wouldn't have already dealt with it. Well, our Showbiz Night Facebook fans are really riled up about this today over whether or not Oprah should take a DNA test. Look at this, Trudy G writing on our wall why she can relate to Oprah's dilemma. I met my biological father when I was 37, and it was a piece of the puzzle called my life. However, I do not have contact with him. Again, I don't think Oprah should run right out, get a DNA test, just because this guy is out there spreading it around. But Leslie, let me get your take. As an adoptive mom, would it shock you if Oprah did? Uh, no, it wouldn't, because I, I think just like that person uh, just wrote, uh, there are sometimes pieces of the puzzle or answers to those, those questions that only a DNA test can answer. However, Anyone can father a child, AJ, but to be a father to a child is a whole different thing. You can test my DNA and my son's, and we're not going to match, but I'm his mom, and if you ask him, I'm the only mom he has, and hopefully the only mom he ever wants to know. Yeah, that's a terrific point, and Oprah has made it clear that the man who she acknowledges as her father, the longtime boyfriend of her mother, is her father, and if that's what she says, that's good enough for Oprah, it's got to be good enough for everybody oh, else. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and I completely agree. This is the man whose name she has, and this is the man who she says is my father. Who, who are we to challenge that? Again, this is Oprah. We all love her. I love her. I know that. But, you know, I, I, I don't think we should challenge that. Now, are you with me? She has shut down this conversation for good? Yes. Because she, she was pretty adamant when yes. she says, I will never take a paternity test, and that's it. I think game over right there. Absolutely. Sonny Hostin, Leslie Marshall. Thanks, guys.